What is up my people? My name is Anton and welcome back to September. Today is going to be less of a render focused sort of look development video and we're working a little more in C4D here. Um, I mentioned in my last video, or not my last video, the one before about ropes, that I was going to do a quick follow up video about spline wrapping. Um, so less of just sweeps and tubes and more about like utility in terms of models and stuff and how you can basically make cables and all sorts of other stuff, shoot laces, dangle. Um, and this can be a pretty, pretty quick um, insight into that. So I just wanted to put this out there. I uh, didn't have too much time today, but I still wanted to get something out. So I figured I'd do this as a pretty cool example. Um, I have this USB cable that is actually currently in a simulation falling on this landscape, which is invisible. Um, but you get a pretty cool idea of just a few of the things you need to bear in mind when you're um, sort of aligning stuff to helixes and using the rope simulator. Um, obviously, if you're getting glitches and stuff, hopefully this video will help you out. Um, and it shouldn't be too too complicated. So for now, I'm just gonna drop this out of the spline wrap and just grab this USB cable and head into a new project real quick. Um, this is the model I was using. So this one in particular didn't cause me too many problems when wrapping to the Helix um, because I'm gonna sort of like make it a length so that these bits are sort of cut out and hopefully it doesn't have too much of a problem. Um, if you're using cables, you can have the stiffness quite high. We'll get to this in a sec, um, but you don't want the bendiness too, um, too high, right? and you want your subdivisions quite low so that it sort of wisps around a little less. Otherwise you'll get your helix going crazy. Um, I'll go over it in a sec, but my point is that this geometry works pretty well. If we're looking at the actual subdivisions, it's a little something like this. So nothing that you can't do in, um, in regular C4D. Uh, and let's take a look at really quickly warping this up. So what you want to do is same thing as last time. Uh, you want to have the rope effector on a helix or rather any of these with the helix sort of tends to work a little better. Um, and then have that um, simulating with some subdivisions and stuff. So for now, if we, or spline wrap rather, if we get helix, um, this is way too big, but what we can do is we can scale it down um, and let's make this a straight line, right? So what we can do is change the end angle down to zero and we can increase the height here to something a little like this. Um, we can drop down head over and increase the height so that it's just reaching the end like this um, and that is basically what we're going to be lining our our like model to uh, what we can do is we need to go and grab ourselves a spline wrap so this tool just here and literally make that a child of the usb cable make sure we're saying this to in this case z minus so you want it pointing in the direction of whatever your model is orientated uh, and we can set the spline to helix here. And what you're going to see is that's going to straight away map it to wherever our helix is positioned. Um, and so should we want to increase the end angle, that's going to start curling it around. But we can see we're getting a little bit of warp in here to fix that really quick. We can set the mode to keep length. Uh, and it means that it's going to stop where it wants to. And this is going to be a little important later. Um, so for now, it's warped, it's working, which is cool. We've got an offset tab, which means we can sort of like move this around. Um, but let's move the end angle down again to zero. Um, and now all we need to think about is simulating the rope itself and doing a few little settings on the helix. So let's move this helix to the middle. Um, I say the middle, maybe something like this, just so it's where you want it to be. Um, and now let's go about simulating this. So for now, I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to get a, um, I think I've got, I got, I got a landscape. I'm going to just do this again, it seemed to work before. Uh, we can set the top down and, and literally just going to set this as a collider. Uh, we can set the helix as a rope simulator here. Hey, to project simulation, gravity is fine. There's something we need to change here too much unless it starts to become an issue. Um, so what we can do is now probably just increase this, press play and see what our rope does. And you're seeing we're getting a little bit of craziness here, right? So it's slipping down, but it's giving a pretty good idea. So a few things to sort of bear in mind here. Firstly, this cable's going bonkers just here. And secondly, the end is causing us a few issues here. It's sort of curling up. Uh, and that's to do with the detail that's in this string. So even if we take the USB off, you can kind of see how this string's behaving. And that's not what we ultimately um, want. We want it to be a little less detailed and more like, uh, I don't want to say cabley, but um, if you imagine, you can't really wrap up cables too tight, right? Something to do with the way that it's structured anyway. Uh, what we want to do is go to the helix here and set the subdivisions way down, way down. So lower than you think, probably something like 10. 
uh, and when we start to play that you can see it's becoming a little better if we get the USB cable on you can see already that's starting to look pretty good and in this particular case this simulation kind of works works pretty well I want to I make sure the helix is disabled um, it's having a few warping issues just at the start here it sort of like goes up but if that's an issue what you can do is head to your hidden line here uh, and just increase the height of your helix ever so slightly well, I think it was at, what was that before 50 so let's make it maybe 80 um, what we'll do is we'll go with that we will see let's take a look at where our helix is you can see it's longer than what the actual cable is uh, what we want to do is this simulation is not the greatest here because the landscape looks a little funky let's try rotating that up maybe uh, move it down just play it one more time oh, I want to change the seed of this so that it's getting a bit, of, a bit more of a not extreme but better better simulation <laughs> I'm really not getting too much luck here okay so that's more like it uh, so we're getting a nice slide down there and what we can see is there's some excess I hope I'm making sense there's some excess to the helix which is sort of hanging out outside um, this looks pretty good but we're getting some bendiness just there so what you want to do is if you're at a point where the like say this in this case we've got two ends here um this is also applicable to like shoelaces you know you have a little bit at the end of the shoelace where it kind of like contains the ends so they don't get all frayed um those don't actually bend right so in the shoelace itself it bends so what you can do at this point is use the offset tool so if you head to spline wrap here and just offset this so that both of these are at a point where they're straight uh, just like this for example you are pretty much sorting out your simulation here and it's curling up nicely if you're still getting issues whereby it's sort of messing up and glitching you can turn the subdivisions down even more um, and you can even see it's taking away a little bit of the detail but it's making it look pretty cool uh, we're quite lucky here where it's sitting on nicely the oh, the geometry that we're actually working with the sorry collider body I mean sometimes you'll see that there's a little bit of a gap um, and if that's a problem just double check what your radius is set to here you can see if we set this up to five it's going to start hovering a little bit like that we want that down to 0.5 um, and that is how you can sort of start mapping your geometry to more rope simulations so obviously combine this with what I showed in the last tutorial um, this is a bit of a quick one because I just wanted to get something out um, and you can get some pretty cool looks so experiment I might, I might do some more stuff on this if you guys enjoy it um, but for now, that's kind of what I wanted to show. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, I'm not going to render this out for today. I'm kind of just going to leave this here and box it off. Uh, and I will see you very soon in a new video. So thank you everybody for watching.